things you see Indiana stresses teams when you watch them on the film? Yeah, I mean, I think their quarterback's just super savvy, and uh, he's an older guy, he's a veteran guy, so he, he kind of picks up on um, looks of defenses. So I think uh, just our disguises this week will help us a lot with that. And they got two good backs um, that run the ball hard. Their O line's pretty good. They block. They block well. So uh, yeah, we'll be ready for them. Their quarterbacks made over 40 starts. I mean, what kind of challenges does that present when you've got a guy of that level? Yeah, I mean, he's just an older guy. He understands football. He understands the game. Um, understands defenses, and I think we have a lot of guys that kind of understand offenses and how defenses should be run. So. Uh, we've been working on our disguises a lot this week and just what we want to show in certain coverages um, that'll mess with his head a little bit more because um, I think Northwestern kind of, they sh would show a, like a too high shell and they played too high. So, I mean, they didn't really disguise very well <clears throat> uh, in that game. So, I think our disguises this week will be huge for us. They like to they like to try to suck the linebackers in with hard run fakes. I mean, they'll run it and yeah. they'll kind of fake it. What, what's the challenge this week in making sure that your eyes are right and, and, and not getting not getting pulled in and then them throwing it behind you? Yeah, so, I mean, um, yeah, like you said, they'll run a lot of RPOs, what we call it, RPO. Um, so they'll get the linebackers to trigger and then throw it. Um, but usually he's reading one guy, so he'll look to a side, and whichever side he's reading is usually where he'll go. So we're kind of – taught this week to if he's reading you then you got to sit but if he's not reading you you can trigger um because he won't throw it throw it to the guy he's like so if he's pulling like this he won't throw it the other way so that's kind of how we're playing it this week you said they have a sneaky good run um i think it's just they're so versatile uh throwing the ball and they can throw the ball very well that it just opens up the run game a lot more um but yeah they got two good backs i mean their o-line blocks well um, they're just a good. They're a good offense. They're a good team. You've been a part of a couple of big games here. They had the big game atmosphere. You know, the night game is just a little different than it's a noon kickoff. But it'll have that kind of environment. I'm sure you guys are ready for that. What, what's the What's the task of the defense in that kind of a situation when you go on the road and you know that the opponent is going to come out with a lot of energy? Um, I think uh, we we kind of understand that. I mean, we don't have to do anything special. Just play our game. Um, I think if we do that, we we if we have an understand of what understanding of what they're trying to do to us, uh, and just bring the right mindset, I think that'll um, play the part of us playing well. It's just the mindset of what we bring. Obviously, it's not a night game, it's but it's a big game, so I think our guys will have a, the right mindset for it. Is, is, it. is that kind of situation an emotional situation for the defense too, or do you actually strive to kind of take? take that emotion out of it and just have like, you know, you hear the nameless, faceless opponent thing sometimes thrown around. Yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, it's all about us. We think about it every week. I mean, it's it's just how we play. We don't care how they play. It's just if we play the right way, we know we have a chance against anybody and we can beat anybody in the country. So, John, I know you, you consider not coming back for a six year. Did, did you ever think about right now what you'd be doing if you didn't come back to play yeah. six year and, and how <laughs> good of a decision it probably was for you to, to decide to come back to play one more season. Yeah, I know it is funny to think about because I could be doing something completely different. I have no idea what I'd be doing right now. Yeah, exactly. So uh, to come back for that six years, uh, I'm, a, I'm happy I made that decision. And uh, I think we're, we're definitely on the right track. And I, that's kind of what I wanted to come back for is to bring this team back to a winning level and um, just be a part of that. So I'm glad I made that decision to come back. Planning on going into the workforce or, I mean, trying pro day for a Yeah, I would try pro day, obviously. And then if that didn't work out, then I'd do whatever I would fell in line for me. Um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't really have a plan at the time. So that's kind of also why I came back. I was like, I have no idea what I want to do. So, uh, yeah. I'm sure he's gotten close to, to Javen. What, what's it been like just seeing him get back out there these last couple weeks? Yeah, it's awesome. That dude's one of the, the best people I know. Um, just works hard every day, brings a smile on his face every single day, no matter what. Um, but just to see him back out there is awesome because he's been through a lot in his career here. And uh, he's he, he loves football more than anybody. So just seeing him back out there is awesome. He had a lot of joy because when he didn't have it, you kind of understand that. Did yeah. you see that in him? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I see it every day. Even when he's 
not playing. He's just he brings that energy, brings that smile, brings that happiness that uh, that we need, and uh, it's great to see him back out there now. Could you imagine not being able to do anything at practice and then like go play? Yeah, I know it's wild. So it's it's funny because well he won't practice at all, and then the first contact he'll have of the week is in the game. So um, I couldn't imagine what it's like because I've never done that, but yeah, I'm sure it's tough for him, but he takes it with a, with a smile on his face and just goes out there and does his job every play. So. You used to be a, a safety and now you're a linebacker, so you have a pretty good global understanding of pass defense, I'm guessing. Yeah. Um, how have you seen this group kind of grow and get better as Sierra's come into the game and now with Tommy coming back and maybe even Coach Butler coming on to the staff with all of his experience? How have you seen this pass defense get better? Yeah, I think it all comes – down to disguises and technique, and I think our disguises have have has slowly gotten better as you got older guys on the defense that kind of understand concepts and um, how to make defenses look. Um, and I think it's all about technique. Coach Butler does an amazing job with those guys, um, even us, and just telling us what's coming, um, what to expect. So uh, yeah, that's we've been trying to improve on that um, this as the season goes on. All right, thanks, Jeff.